All right, we um, we found what happened to the Yora soldiers, unfortunately. Uh, we've at least taken care of whatever that robot was doing, and now we better report to. Uh, hey there. Hostiles. I don't think so. Huh? You defeated broken machine. You saved us. This thing is awfully verbose for a machine. We repay you. Come to our village. Eh, why not? It could be a trap. Still, we should at least head over there and gather data, right? I appreciate discussing the possibility of it being a trap and gathering data in front of the thing that you are possibly talking about trapping and gathering data with. This way. This way. This way, here. So this little guy has opened our cast member door. And brought us to the other side of this fence. Oh dear. Uh. Alright, maybe... Maybe following them, not the best plan. But we don't have another plan, so let's go. What's that? Oh, right. You wouldn't have seen that before. They're sending supplies up from Earth to the moon in the bunker. There are no spare parts or fuel in space, after all. Huh. Huh. You can actually watch those, um, those little supply things go up for quite a ways. So why don't the machines... Or the aliens who created them attacked the bunker directly. They originally came here from outer space, right? Well, there are a few theories about that, but no one knows for sure. Hard to tell what an alien is thinking, you know? True. See something back there? have white flags. Looks like they really don't want to fight. Hello. Before we begin, there's something you must understand. We are not your enemies. To be! We can't trust anything the machines say. I understand that you see us as the enemy, but... Well, anyway, my name is Pascal. I'm the leader of this village. Those who reside here desire nothing more than to live a peaceful existence. Look around for yourself. You'll see that it's true. Alright. Time to accost everybody. Hey, little guy. Alright. It's a common sentiment. No. <laughs> well, 
I guess an expression of good faith will just steal your stuff. Well, there's a fair few more machines down here, actually. At the base of the tree. How do these little guys with that arms get their flags on? Oh, that's so cute. They're like little backpacks. animal bait for some reason. Excuse me, can you have a moment? Oh no. Oh no, you're adorable. Look at the little bow on. Oh no. Sure cares about her little sister, huh? Still, it's pretty funny to hear machines talk about siblings. Do you think she just means they were built at the same factory or something? Maybe. Nah, family means something more than that. <laughs> oh, jeez. These guys are cute. All right, Pascal, what you got? that Anemone wouldn't have mentioned something like that. Anyway, the Robot Village, of course, had its own save point. And a few other robots. Seems pretty okay to me. I guess we'll confirm with Anemone when we get back with this fuel filter. Hopefully it's not a bomb or something. So the robot village was actually located uh, over on the other side of the map from the resistance camp. There's a big bridge over there that you can kind of see that leads to an area we haven't Never really bothered with yet because it's just kind of a building, but it also leads up to this, and I we don't get believe into the city ruins if we move that box. Uh, I don't believe I ever really came by this way, but this this little uh, chunk of metal here has been sitting in the corner by the uh, the tower save point. Operator six zero to two B. Time for your regularly scheduled contact. <laughs> to be here. What's wrong? Oh. There's this operator I kind of liked, but when I asked her out, she turned me down. <laughs> Honestly, to be. I don't know how I'm supposed to go on living. I am definitely not the person to discuss this with. You leaving would be bad for me. It would affect mission efficiency. Uh, are you saying you need me to be? All Model B combat units require the assistance of an operator. So... To be? That's all. 
Closing this channel. Well, that was a good mission update. I approve. Hope, uh, hope 6 doesn't take that the wrong way. So I'm sure that you took notice of this, but we now have a third eye color on the machines. We have the red for the um, innate aggressive machines, and then yellow for these ones that are just kind of wandering around lost. But the machines in Pascal's village all have green eyes, because green is a nice color. Presumably a nice color. I guess we'll confirm with Anemone that they've actually been in contact. Anemone? filters. And you didn't tell anybody about this? Huh. It just seems kind of weird, Nemini. Um, now, forgive me for the upcoming really, really rough uh, edit here. started transmitting to us directly. Now do you believe we're not a threat? Your mouth can say anything it wants, but you still don't have a heart. I suppose that's technically accurate. <laughs> yes, well, you're free to visit our village whenever you like. Alright, so um, doing this little bit of uh, errand work here has actually unlocked quite a few side quests in the game. Um, for some reason, it's not really until you get to the machine village that these areas, or, I'm sorry, uh, side quests actually become available. And as you can see, there's a fair few little red dots that have shown up on the map. Um, we're not going to be taking care of those immediately. It's a little bit better to just go ahead and finish this um, fuel delivery before we go ahead and take care of the extraneous stuff. So we're just going to go and get back to the village. Now we're back near the village. Oh no, there's a boar! Hey, buddy! You're allowed in the village? I bet. They wouldn't mind. You think they'd mind? I don't think they'd mind. I wouldn't mind. Nope. Alright, so we've got some high viscosity oil to deliver. So I guess this um, this is a pretty legitimate uh, operation they've got here. Oh. I think the joke is that his relief has not come for a long time. Oh, what's up, buddy? What are you thinking about? Now, uh, the village is also prevent providers with a couple of different shops in here. This guy sells, um, robot weaponry. And robot weaponry is actually kind of neat. It's a whole bunch of, like, junk metal put together to make these, uh, pretty roughly constructed weapons. I like the aesthetic, but we're not going to be buying any for, well, a bit yet. I'll get all the uses for our money. And they're not over here.
Uh, this is just a, a regular old shop. All of our um, consumable items, plus a couple of different chips available. I don't believe there's anything new. Yeah, there's nothing new here. Although that's damn useful. But everybody's very friendly. Oh, got stuff to do though. Talk to these tiny, tiny child machines. This is adorable. So adorable. that noise? Tubi, this is an emergency transmission from the bunker. We're reading a Goliath-class enemy inside the city ruins. And it looks like there are a ton of other machines there with it. All Yorha units should proceed and engage immediately. But Goliath? This was a trap. I knew it! I promise you, we were not aware of this information. I realize the odds of you believing me are strikingly low. But I hope you will, nonetheless. We'll sort it out later. Let's go. You keep it safe, buddy. We'll go have a look. <laughs> 